Yo, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Envy. And your boy Oscar. Last but not least, your boy Jay. Welcome back to the Hype Empire. Yeah, because here at the Hype Empire, hey, today we're going to be talking about the vaccine of COVID, man. Are you guys taking it or are you guys just going to pass and hopefully you don't get it? Well, what you guys think on it? So I'll, I'll go first on this one. So it, that's a good question. It's a, it's a hard question because, like, you know, when something new comes out, like, you never know, like, what what it can what what can happen. You know what I mean? It's like I know they do their human trials and stuff. Like, the, they go through all the phases to make sure it's safe and all that stuff. But, and I, I know they, like, choose di uh, different uh, demographics to to see like you know like the ethnicity age gender you know they get they put all that together and they try to make it see if it's safe right mm -hmm. or if it affects anybody's uh, but you know you always get those those one odd ones you know that it just something happens to them and it just they react differently to it um i don't know if y'all remember uh when the swine flu came out and they had to create a vaccine for that one. And supposedly there was a lot of theories, like a lot of people were saying, oh, this person was talking backwards and somebody couldn't like. Uh, that girl that couldn't walk, you guys saw that one? Yeah, there was a girl that couldn't walk. But she can like run that. straight, she can run. No, I didn't, I've never heard of any of that stuff. Yeah, no, the, the walk one. And I'm laughing, yeah. I'm not trying to watch or One of them was like being fake. running backwards or something. Yeah, they, they ended up being fake, but um, <laughs> well, so. I know that. I don't know about all of them. Uh, I know that one. Yeah. They, somebody caught yeah. her off guard, and she was walking like uh, some what's it called, caught off guard. And hey, you're walking fine, and all this. No, no, just get out of here. Yeah, no, but but I mean, I don't know. You you never know, right? Like you can be that one person, but like what? So I guess that's like what? What are the chances of that happening? You know what I mean? You okay, being... here's, one, here's one really quick, Oscar, for you guys. Should they make it mandatory for kids that are going back to school? Like a vaccine, they can't. But, I don't think they can. Okay, I mean, they, should they? Should they? I mean, I don't know. Don't man. they have certain immunizations that your kid has to have before they get into school? Yeah, yeah, but they, there's can. there's there's parents that are against the uh, vaccinations. So yeah, so then they go to our kid's school. Yeah, That's you weird. can't discriminate. But okay, but they won't let your kids in if you don't have those vaccines. I think you have to like get them like a memo from a doctor or something like that, saying yeah, that you're do, against vaccines and all that stuff. Why do they make you give a, a immunization record then, if it doesn't matter? I don't know. Yeah, I think I it's like a certain. Get... I think it's like maybe a certain percentage. I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up and then we'll, we'll we can talk about it again. Maybe and on another okay, video. Okay, with that, you think it should be that you know who that those persons are, those people, those kids are. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think that's like private information. Are you talking, or are you talking about like offenders? <laughs> well, it's like, not that, but if it's for yeah, your child's safety. So like... there's, a, there's a movie out. Um, it's an old movie. I don't know if it's Contagion or some another one. I know Contagion is one, but there's another one like where it's a pandemic and it's kind of hard. Not It's not hard to watch right now, but y'all need to go watch it anyway they, they put a bracelet on uh, for the people that have like have gotten that vaccine so they know who's gotten the vaccine you know what i mean and they can go out in public and do all that other stuff mm. so i don't know maybe that that, that can happen hey but so when else? you get the vaccine that means you're 100 percent can get sick from it is that no. what the vaccine is what's the vaccine for no you? so the, the vaccine is to prevent you from getting sick but it's like uh, for okay, so from what I'm hearing, it's uh, it's it might be like two doses. So you take one, and then you have to go back and take another one, like within a certain period of time. Um, and there's different. I don't know what the word is, but uh, efficacy. I think it's. I think I got it right. Efficacy. So that's uh how effective it is, right? So. If something's like, and they're in like in the 90 to 95, I think, right now. Like, that's how effective they are. It's not 100%, mm -hmm. but that's how effective they are. So they always have that 5% yeah. error, like, 
where it might not help. But I don't know. For me, I think the whole, if everybody takes it, it'll be a lot better for everybody, even the people that don't take it. You know what I mean? Like the small percentage that might not take it because it's less people transmitting it to others, I guess. I don't know. That's what my Yeah, thing, it should slow it down I, for sure. Like, yeah, if, I, if everybody starts taking it, the number, even if not 100% of the world took it, the number should go down drastically. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't think I have a choice, though. So I have to take it. And you, Jay? Yeah, I, I'd be, um, I'm going to be real scared to take it because I don't know what it's going to do to my body. My body ain't, ain't as young as it used to be anymore. So I'm scared of the side effects, but I guess to me, the risk is worth, is worth the reward. So I will take it and I have to be a lot less selfless and understand that it's not, that I'm not going to get the immunization just for me. It's going to be for my kids, my parents, you know, I don't want them to get sick for me because I and see, I'm around a lot of people all the time. That's for all ages. Yeah. That vaccine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's for all ages. I, it's, I'm pretty sure this might be a different dose, but yeah, it would have to be because this this uh, epidemic is relentless. No one's safe. Everybody's getting it. Dang, dogs are getting it. I heard about a tiger getting it. Like, that's just crazy. Hey, uh, I heard that that everybody was getting it before it even before COVID was a COVID. Like it, it's been yeah. around for years. Yes, even I, decades. I think it's like. Been. But so, for animals, they just couldn't transfer it to humans. So, yeah, they're like COVID or coronavirus, right? There's different strands. So this is just a new one. You know what I mean? Like sometimes like viruses evolve or or they're created or whatever. You know what I mean? And it's just they just call it a new one. But going back to like what you were saying, um, like I know uh, one of my buddies Actually, like we, I, I thought he had COVID before, like, what was it in, in November, December, maybe? It's like they got sick uh, early on and they couldn't find, the doctors couldn't find out what it was. And it was before like the whole, like, oh, there's coronavirus. You know what I mean? Before it was so, an epidemic. Or yeah, pandemic, before, yeah, before it was a pandemic. You know what I mean? And it's like. And they're they're always like, hey, did, did we have that? It's like they had to use inhalers and all that stuff. And it's like, I don't know, maybe, you know. Yeah. What about you, Eric? You you take it? Yeah, I think so. I, I, because uh, we take the flu shot too, so we do it for precautionary reasons. And yeah, I think we are. I think once it comes out and everyone's safe did you guys see that whole theory about that's how the government's going to control you like track where you're at and all that they're going to plant a chip in you <laughs> yeah and that's what the whole corona thing was so this way the government can uh, plant chips on you and all that i don't know already, I, no, the, girl, the government's listening to us right now conspiracy our phones man. and laptops man the conspiracy. i was like hey, this is this is, this is nothing already man but this is for another they can subject. already track us <laughs> yeah this is for another subject but um uh, no, but I'm saying if you get it, you can never run from them. They'll know exactly where you're at. Like, if you're a wanted fugitive, they'll always know where you're at. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't even care then, because I'm not a fugitive. Yeah. yeah and, uh, and I guess it's the thought of people, your rights and all that. Uh, we're we're going to get off subject here, but maybe that'll be another sub topic, man. But uh, All right. Even after you get the <clears throat> immunization, are you still going to wear masks and... And you know, six feet uh, social distance and all that. Yes, I think we'll wear masks out in public. Like if we hang out with you guys, if we start going back with you guys and all that, like hanging out together, probably not. But I think out in public, for general thing, even after I took it, and it says like whatever, yeah, hopefully it gets back to normal. Well, you don't, but I think for a oh, for a while, we probably will be out in public because like um, oscar says that they, hmm. they mutate and if there's another strand that that thing can't for whatever reason can't cure and somebody ignorant and they don't freaking take the vaccine and it like or they take one and they don't take the other thinking they're okay and for whatever reason it's able to mutate and be even stronger so for a while yeah i'll probably just we'll wear a mask 
And you know, even for that, you're you're saying for a while, but what what if something else different? Every every few years, something comes out stronger and stronger and stronger. So wouldn't it be kind of like protection from anything if you just you keep wearing it out in public? Because people yeah. don't know how to act in public, guys. Let's. Yeah. That's why we have a curfew. You know what? And that's funny thing that because I remember you said this, Jay. Is and I remember even Bobby Bones said this. You should always be the same. How you treat coronavirus is how people should treat everybody. Period. Like you should yeah. social distance. You should wear a mask for your own because there's the cold, the flu, things like that. Like you, you gotta think. Yo, you gotta wear a mask to protect other people. Like when you go grocery shopping, can you really think before coronavirus? People would sneeze on their hands and all yes. that, and they would grab and then, fruits. And then you and then would put it grab, back. Granted, and then put it yes, back. Granted, mm-hmm. you wash them when you get home. But for those kids that, because I've seen kids that, or people that eat it right out of the thing, like they'll eat. You know what I mean? That, <laughs> grape that's delicious. Yeah, but grape thieves. <laughs> hey, grape and, grape. And, and yeah, and being honest here, how many people actually watch wash their canned their canned um, food or drink like, on the lid? and then open it and it falls in the soda you pop it open the lid goes inside you mm-hmm. watch that so i'm telling you i think we should always be this cautious and i yeah. think it should be a forever thing because yeah. the next one this one killed a lot of people imagine what the next one's gonna do hey but i will tell you this i kind of semi agree with gary v ish okay he says he never washes his hands right like after he uses the restroom or anything like that here's the thing if you become that cautious, because what I've noticed is people that are really that cautious, their immunity is trash. So as soon as a little flu hits you, bam, you're dead because your body is never built up in immunity to anything. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was about to say that also. Um, so we're I've heard about that. Introduce some it's, bacteria to your body. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, like it's, it's good to be clean. You know what yeah. I mean? But like the whole hand sanitizer thing, that's one, one of my, that's why I told uh, Angie is that you know, I was afraid of like the winter and all that stuff because everybody's using hand sanitizer right now like crazy. So if you get sick, you know what I mean? Like it's it's going to be bad because you're not, you know, your body right now is like not used to any kind of germs, you know what I mean? Or any kind of bacteria or viruses, you know, because you're all, but you're, you're, pro- but you're also protecting yourself. Yeah. But that's the thing is like, if, you know, for some reason, like, I don't know, like you touch something and like, cause be, granted, like there's different viruses and like different kinds of spreads and you know, the way it spreads or whatever. So like right now we're like kind of more like towards COVID, which is a little bit easier to get. Right. But I'm talking about like stuff that I don't know, like it's just um, like a virus that you just catch like a cold. Your or body whatever, can't you know? fight it. Yeah. I used and, to fighting it every day. Yeah. And now it's not, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, it's like, I understand where you're going. Mm-hmm. And like that, that, that guy, Gary, Gary V, I know ish, I would be like, also, you know what I mean? Cause like, yeah, I think you should like hand sanitize, but as far as like how much we're doing it right now, cause like right now it's like, you go into a store, you hand sanitize, you touch something, you hand sanitize, you touch something else, you hand sanitize. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, let, dude, my just... hands are, my hands are getting dry. <laughs> yeah. But let's just understand this how many times have you shook someone's hand and you're like oh i shouldn't have shook that person's hand you know i want to be like uh hey gabriel hey, if, I see, <laughs> like if, I, if, if i holiday no if i if i if i see somebody that i don't i don't I, honestly i'm i might be a rude guy man i don't i don't shake their hand I'm, i might I'm give them a little fist bump man. i'm more of uh bringing in for the real thing i'm more of that guy and you know what i'm really I'm going to tell you like this. I'm really cautious. This will be another video, but I'm really cautious about people that are like Oscar. I, I don't like that, man. Cause it, it makes me put up my guard. Like, yo, when, like you ain't cool with me like that. Like are we not cool or something. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I think a handshake says a lot about a person about how I'm, cool we are. That's what I'm, I'm just talking about. No, no, no. Says, yeah, like, maybe I shouldn't shake his hand. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean, I mean Oscar, we, I mean, Oscar shakes my hand the same way I shake his hand. You know what I mean? Like you do the bro yeah. hug. So I'm not, I'm not saying me and Oscar, but I'm saying like when I meet other people and they're like that, like, yo, I'm thinking, what? Like, cool. Yeah. And I respect you, but just know what you did makes me think like, we ain't that cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
and I, I that that's for a different subject, but yeah, I but think that's not the norm. That's not the norm nowadays. The norm the norm is do not shake hands. Yeah. yeah. It's changed and it's no, 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 no. And I understand that. That yeah, I completely get like yo, you doing the fist even today. We saw each other, we did the fist pump, like that. Yeah, like that is the norm right now. But I'm saying, like, back in the day, or even when it goes back to normal, if it ever does, it I I do think I'm telling you, uh, I'm more of uh I think you do have to build your immunity. Granted, I will say this, I get sick every year, and I have yet, thank God, I have yet to get sick because of I think all the precautions I'm taking wearing a mask I always wash my hands granted you Jay you're a big germaphobe I'm not I, I man I'll wash my hands after I've been doing like um construction and I'll even my hands all dirty I don't freaking care Jay's not like that but yet Jay you still get sick yeah I do you're, you're a huge germaphobe I'm not I mean you both get sick the same amount of time granted now I'm um, Nats really has me. So none of the grant, thankfully, the boys haven't got sick. Uh, I haven't got sick. Like, thankfully, none of us have gotten, I'm talking about basic sick, like uh, allergies yeah. or even the the flu, which I get mm -hmm. every year. I get the flu. Uh, you know, you know why you haven't gotten the flu, right? No. Why? Because the kids aren't in school, man. That's the, that's the fastest that's way to spread everything. And I was going to say from the differences where I work, I see hundreds of people all the time and mm -hmm. I have to get close to them and I have to talk to them and I have to touch product all the time that they touched that they get sick on and cough on. And so they don't want it. The, and yeah. And the chances of me getting sick, I'm way more exposed. So even though I am a germaphobe, I'm going to get sick because I'm around so many people. So yeah. even with these, so that's why now, even with the precautions and I guess my point I was trying to make the norm that we have right now, is this the new norm going forward? I don't think so. I, I think so. I, well, no, I, think I think for so people like us for yes. a good while. Yes, I think the people like us maybe, but everybody no, because people aren't even freaking doing it right now. You really think a uh, year from now they're gonna be wearing their mask? I think the numbers are yeah. gonna drop drastically, but there's gonna always be those people that I I seen it even before uh, coronavirus. The people would wear masks. Mm -hmm. I thought it was weird. I thought they were yeah. really sick. Like, but. They were more cautious. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They probably got. I, I think they were like, more. I, th I think yeah, they, were they were more, more considerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they were considerate because, like, they didn't want to get everybody else sick because yeah, they're the ones that were I understand sick. now, yeah, it's not to. It's not really protecting them. It's protecting you from them. So mm -hmm. they were really looking out for you. But yeah, I, I think I, I honestly think people don't care. They don't care about you. What's called? So they're gonna in a year from now, everyone's not gonna wear their mask. A good it's like seventy five percent of people aren't. It's what's what's hard to understand is people don't people do as they're told, and other people won't do it because they're told. Nobody uses this anymore, you know, and and that's what I'm saying. That if if you know you get sick a lot, you should just protect yourself more. Like for me, and I understand like trying to build up your immune system. Even like you said, Eric, even though I wash my hands all the time, I get sick all the time. So imagine if I didn't, how much worse would it be? Well, you'd be like me. I don't think. Let me tell you, I don't, I don't wash my hands now. I do all the time, but before <laughs> I never did. Like, but... I was that guy. Yeah, like I, I'm the kind of guy that will pick up dry poop. I won't eat afterwards, but I don't care about that. That stuff doesn't make me disgusting. Like, if it was wet, picking maybe, up dry poop. Maybe soggy, but I dry poop. I don't care. Oh. Pick that up. I'll throw it at somebody, <laughs> especially like Jay. For is that, is that what you're doing? I'll pick that up and I'll throw it right at Jay. <laughs> that stuff doesn't. Uh, granted, I won't eat after that. That's kind of what's called. But like, if I have my hands all full of like when we used to sand or construction, if I have my hands full of like all the um, debris, yeah, debris. Man, I'll just do this. My hands are washed. I'll get Give me to that it. sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't freaking care. Like. Unless like you can really see it, but granted the germs that are going to make me sick, I can't really see, but if there's like a big piece of stick on my, what's it called? Yeah, I'll throw that, flick that off and eat it, but I won't eat it off the floor. If it falls, I'm not that five second guy. I'm not going to eat that because that's different. But as far as like my hands, I don't freaking care, y'all. Now thing. I do. Like I that, said, now. That, that's the same thing. You're touching the ground and then eating it. So wouldn't it be the same if something fell on the floor? Still? Hey, maybe you might be right. You might be a hundred percent right. But <laughs> He's I don't gonna know start that. eating off the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, Jay. Let me 
use my shoes as a plate, <laughs> the bottom of my shoes. <laughs> No, but uh, you guys let us know if you guys are big germaphobes like Jake. Now, everybody better be germaphobes like Jay now. All right. Right now. We're trying for to keep sure. each other safe. Yeah. But before the pandemic, were you guys a huge germaphobes or you guys hey, what are you gonna do after all this? And yeah, are what you, you guys gonna take the vaccine? Guys? Yeah, and huge thing. Are you guys gonna take that vaccine, man? You guys let us know. You guys let us also know it should be mandatory for your kids to take it to go back to school. Maybe that should be a requirement. Uh, you guys drop the comments. Let us know, man. Thank you all for all your support. We love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Yep. Drop them. Uh, smash that like button. Love y'all.